Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card we use the stamp sets, Vibrant Vases and Very Vases. I um, used some of the flowers out of this one. So this one I used um, this long flower here and the tulip I think, even though there's a tulip in there. Mm. I'll swap the tulips over. Um, yeah, and this one I'm going to use the three fancy vases. This flower here, and obviously the tulip. Let me get the tulip out. For the sentiment that come from humming along, I'm using that sentiment. For the card stock, you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. A black piece of a basic black of um, five and seven eight, no five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I'm changing now to mint macaron. This has already been um, embossed. I found it in the drawer. I never used it when I embossed it, obviously. So I'm going to use that. And that is at five and a half by three and three quarters. Then we have a piece of basic black at two and three quarters by five and Five should be five and five. It should be the same length as this, five and a quarter. Never mind, I'll trim that down. And this is how uh, long is this? Yeah, two and three quarters. And this one is two and five eighths by five and three quarters it should be but it's obviously not so I shall trim them two down I'll trim them down when I know I need to trim them down now so I know where to put my vase this is That's better That'll go on there like that. Then you need a scrap. Oh no, that's for the inside. That's five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. And you'll need a scrap of white for the sentiment and the vases. Right, to get started, we need a pencil and a ruler. this white piece here and our scrap. Alright, put that on a straight line on my grid and I'm going to come up a little bit and just draw a line. That's just to guide me where to stamp the vases. So let's do that. All right. I'm bringing a bit of scrap because I'm going to stamp off a few times. All I want is a shadow just so I know where to put my flowers. Ink it up again. Stamp it off. Clean it. Um, with the little stumpy one. Stamp off twice. And stamp that down. Ink up. And stamp that down. And 
then with the big one, do the same again. You could do this in smoky slate, this bit. need the sentiment amazing wishing you an amazing birthday make sure it's straight on my stamp now what I did was I stamped it in black and then with my cloth I took the black off the amazing bit not all of it from the outside mainly and then I stamped that there wishing you an amazing birthday because I've already stamped out my mint macaron one but I'll show you what I did that will go there so I haven't misstamped I've just only stamped half the words I could have just used my black pen I suppose and never thought of that just shows you I'm half I don't think what I'm doing right now with the flowers with the long stem flower, I put that. Hmm. There. You won't see that because it'll be over. Once we punch the vases out, they will go over the top of it. Right, the. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, they look like daisies, but they will go there. And tulips. So what I did was put one high up, one to the side one to the side and then with a the stem I only inked up a little bit of the stem I didn't ink it all up I am um, oops that's way too much Just put the little stems in. Uh, right. To colour them in, I just use my mark. Now, I think this one's mint macaron. Yeah, so I need that. I need blushing bride for that flower. For that flower, I will use grapefruit grove and yellow. And for this one, I haven't got the new colours in what well, the Highland Heather and gorgeous grape yet so I'll just use Wisteria Wonder so this one I just coloured in pink
this one I did the two outer ones in Daffodil Delight and the middle bit in this one which is Grapefruit Grove and we'll do the middle of them ones I'll see that one and that one and then this one all I did was just a little few strokes on each petal Didn't go to the top, just a couple of strokes near the base of the petals. I know what colour I forgot. I forgot old olive for these leaves. one side. This one I just coloured the whole vases but left the pattern. Left the pattern white. did all three the same colour. So what do I oh I left This one I just went between the leaves. And that's it. That's how I coloured them in. Ooh. Throwing them all around. All right. And with a punch, I can punch out that first one. No bother. She says. Lots of bother. I'm holding it upside down. That's the first vase. That's the second vase. And 
take these off. It's not let me in. There we are. And that is the third vase. I'll get rid of all the scrap. Right, what we need now is a rubber. To rub this line out. And we've also got to stamp the sentiment again in mint macaron. Hopefully. And then with my paper snips, I cut out the word. Amazing. Leaving a tiny border. around the dot across the word get rid of that and then up the A Cut round it the best you can. Concentrate, not talking. Around the tail of the Z. Or Z if you're in America. I think that's how you say it. Around the G. And back to beginning. So there we have our amazing. But because my one, other one, has already got um, dimensionals on it, that will sit on there like that. So we need dimensionals on the back of these vases All 
right, let's cut. I've got a bit there, yeah. Just cut a little bit. this vase and do the same on this one there we go well that's them ready this card together. No, let's have a cup of tea. Hubby did make me one before I started filming. Extra glue on because it's embossed. And then we'll just stamp that on there. And glue that on there. whether I glued it flat or if I put this bit on dimensionals but I didn't, I glued it flat. So this will go in the middle like that. Put a lid on my glue and then get the vases and stick them on. And then the word amazing. Let's do this. hiding any of the black that come through. So there you have it. I didn't do nothing inside on this one either. Don't be like them. Let's do it that way. That's the one I made earlier and that's the one I've just made. If you like them, give us a thumbs up. Um, oh, I never based these ones. Hang on, let me base them. Where's my smoky slate? Uh, is that it? 
You can tell I don't know where use these markers very often. I don't know where I put them right. Just a base, just gradual linings. There you are. That's better. Right, all I can say is um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.